it has been almost a day, and I haven't heard a word from anybody at Wildfire or Lifts. It's, uh, I think today's Thursday, uh, so they've, they're probably open, uh, so I haven't heard anything from them. If you know anybody that's got one of these, if y'all know how to get in touch with Musty One or uh, Derek at Vice Grip Garage, those are the only two other people I know that have uh, this lift, uh, this, I think this exact lift. You might want to uh, give them a call. So if they hear a funny grinding noise, you better let the car down and uh, figure out what it is. My pro my project for today is to try to uh, put things sort of back where they uh, were without the pulleys, so I can sort of keep uh, keep track of what's going on. It's not really too hard, but uh, I gotta see how to get. That probably has, oh, it does, it has a, let me see if I can see that, I'll, I'll have to play it back and see what that is. I'll take a picture and look at it. So, if you know anybody's got one, do that. Uh, the, my biggest, my other big problem today, and I really, this has been on my mind a lot, is getting this broken ring out of here. Um, it's, it's either going to take a couple of minutes or a long time. So, I'm going to, let me get a little, uh. I know what I'm gonna do. I usually keep little containers everywhere, so let's do that. Oh boy, that's good stuff there. And uh, so let's just. Uh, the other thing I gotta get is a circlip. Hopefully, oop, well, it don't really matter, does it? Let's see if I can get that back. If it didn't go too far, it slipped right through the cracks. It's okay. It's junk anyhow. So there's your bearing cage. That, that looks like a problem. And uh, little bits of metal there. And that's not good. You could end up with a metal splinter in your finger. So uh, there you go. Let's see if I can... That's the bearing race. So we don't have to worry about that, do we? Uh, I guess... I guess I need to see what this thing's really about. Where is the outer part? Did I drop it in here? There's other bits in here. Uh, there's the spacer. I'm going to have to be careful about this thing. Uh, so those, probably just put those in the ultrasonic or just wipe them off probably is good enough. So it looks like the little spacer, when I take this one out, I'm gonna have to document it very carefully. So I'm going to put this back up in there and hook the cables on them. And uh, I think the little screw is down in there too. Yeah. Ooh, that's, ooh, that's a whole bearing. Oh, that was the first bearing I pulled out. That one, say, that one stayed together. Whoa. <laughs> I know, I'm being kind of mean, aren't I? So let's get this out of here. There's that little screw. Uh-oh. The minute you come down here, everybody loves you. There's my hat. Sorry. Okay, let's uh let's find the little screw. There it is right there. And put that back up in there. I gotta take a picture of what this is and get this collet off. Uh and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna take to Allied Bearing and uh see what I can do. Let's let's see what I'm gonna do about getting this stuff apart. I'm dreading, I'm actually I'm actually dreading this. I got the circlip out. It's down here. Uh, 10 minutes, 15 maybe. You know how it is. They, they uh, snap back on you. And you I, there's a trick I do. I put a needle nose vise on one end when it starts coming out so it won't fly across the room and become a Jesus clip. So, okay, we've all heard that, hadn't it? Why do you call it a Jesus clip? Because it pops off and goes across the shop and you say, Jesus, I'll never find that. So... It was way back. So I've got the pulley over here now. The pulley is lipped. Uh, so the, the, the old bearing race is right there. And I'm, I'm about to get it to come out. Uh, kinda, I don't think I can do i got to have two hands to do this. But I wanted you to see that that, that is about to pop out of there. And uh, yeah, another 10 minutes. And sort of doing a little fancy grinding on my old 
Dunlap, 730 seconds made in USA. Uh, drifting punch, one of hundreds I have. But anyway, let's see if we can drift that on out of there and get up to uh, bearing place. Uh, 140. Yeah, I've probably been at this 30 minutes cause I'm doing some other stuff too. There's the race popped out of it. Uh, I'm probably going to need two hands to do this too, but I'm going to take this with me. Did that with one hand, hey. So I got, think I've got almost everything I need to go to the bearing place. So take your pulley, uh, take every little piece you can think of, wipe it off before you go there, and uh, don't get the guy's hands dirty if you can, if you can avoid it. Uh, uh, so let's, that's the inside. That other stuff I'm going to just leave here. I've, I've got a nice clean receptacle to put this in here. Now you'll notice the stat pulleys that have the two uh, cables going through them, they are lipped here a little bit. Uh, the one, oh, I didn't talk about this, did I? I don't know, what is that thing? Uh, I think it's 530, let me get my... Yeah, 530 seconds, what a weird size. Uh, that is the the locking ring that goes on the top. There is a recess in this. Make sure that these are tight. They were not. Uh, don't lose your spacers. So that right there is 530 seconds Allen key. And that collar slips off and then you can get this one off. So I've got to get this circlip out of here. Fortunately, I have circlip pliers. And... Uh, Let's take this one out too because it's whole. And, uh, ooh, well, that one feels okay. That one doesn't go through a lot of stress. That one is a little grindy, grindy. Whew, good God. And I'm going to tell you the truth. I've had this thing for 370 something days. It took me a week, let's just say, let's just say one year. I bet you I have had, I've used it. 30 times, maybe 40 times, and that's really about it. Really, I, I don't, I use it frequently, but, but not, I would say 40 times would be, uh, would be max in a year. But boy, I tell you, those 40 times are heaven until you run into something like this. But uh, anyway, so I can't work on the Healy still. Looked at overdrive parts today, but I don't, I don't know what I need till I get it on the lift, so. It, it engages, but it starts to disengage. So I've got to figure out what that is. We all we've all been there with British cars with overdrive. So let's get uh, let's get this stuff wiped off in in here. And I got this one marked with a little white out to, to remember which one this fit. They don't look the same. Let's just find out. Uh, and whatever it is, oh, I remember I worked at a Napa. We closed at noon on Saturday, and everybody would come in at, what, uh, five minutes to noon with a bearing off a trailer or something. We'd be there for hours. So let's just see what this is. 63, uh, 31, 30 seconds. Uh, that's pretty close. That one does appear to be a little bigger. Just, just a smidge. Okay. All right, let's. Uh, I hope I'll have less of a hard time getting these bearings out. Uh, let's see if these are. I know the other ones lipped. So, uh, yeah, that one's lipped. Uh, this one is also lipped. So we might have a little press action going here and press those out. Just. That are, you know, beating hell out of them, you know. I got a press sitting right there, so let's use it. Well, the press was kind of ugly. It's, uh, you have to wait for the big kablowie for it to release, but it, it, it comes out. They come out. And here they are, out. Uh, that is a, that is a, I wonder why they put the numbers on the rubber part. A 6205 2RS that looks familiar from yesterday. 
and uh, see that's all nice and clear now. And ooh, this is a different number. Oh, 60. 50, I don't know, 620 SRS. So these are, are a little different, I think. We're going to take them and we're going to get, uh, we're going to get four of those and four of those. If they are in stock, take your pulleys with you. And I am ready for a road trip to the Bearing King. <laughs> Once again, it's the old nothing happens till you want to go do something. I'm just now walking to the car and my phone rings and it's Wildfire Lifts. I won't say his name, but I can't talk to him now. Now Sean drives up. So there's the black car that I saved from certain peril. Uh, and uh, can I have just a little peril? No, no, it's too perilous. Well, let's see what Sean wants, but uh, we're going to try to concentrate on this lift problem. The Allied Bearings is only, uh, what, 20 minutes away or so. Uh, maybe maybe more than that. I didn't look, but I don't think it's far. It's no far farther than the Harley Davidson dealer, I think. So let's, uh, let's go. So I've got everything all set. Oh, that must have been him down there messing around. Okay. Here we are at Allied Bearing. Let's just go in and see what's happening inside. Okay, here's the word. And uh, this place, they know Sean and everything too. So I gave him my channel name. They're going to look and see what happened. I, I can't let you see who I am, but it cost me... One hundred and ninety-seven dollars and ninety-six cents for eight bearings. They are the same. They're sixty-two oh five two RSJEMs, and uh, so they look. They don't look the same. The boxes are different, but you can get different qualities of them. They had. Uh, they had. What was it? These are SKF, obviously, and they had two or three other brands. These are twenty-something dollars each. And it's not like your life depends on it. Actually, it does depend on it. So we're going to have to find... I, I might use the old bearing race and, and press this in to make sure I don't damage this bear. It made in Argentina. You can see it right there. And uh, and I'm going to say this. I'm not, I'm not going to hold anything back from you. I had uh, this not really nice fellow in here uh, look these up. And these are uh, really uh, crummy Chinese bearings. And uh, he said, uh, okay, and I didn't bring the ones that's busted, but he's going to look and see what they are uh, featuring Sean. But these, if you've got a wildfire lift, your life is balanced on uh, Chinese bearings. And I want to say something else here to all the guys at wildfire. I, I know what it's like. And I know that you're trying to get the best product you can out there uh, for the best price you can. And I appreciate and I admire that. Okay, I want, I want to make that perfectly clean, uh, clear. So I'm going to take all these off. And I'm going to put these in the ultrasonic because I want, I want these tracks right here clean. And I'm going to do that when I get home. Uh, they did not have uh, sir clips. I may, I may have some. I don't know if I've got any this big, but the old one, I think I can salvage. Uh, it's, it's not quite as bad beat up as I thought it was. And just to make sure that you see it, I'm going to... Uh, now, i got to tell you, too, this stuff don't feel great either. And it, you know, but it's, it's okay. And uh, where's the one that... Uh, here's the one that got beat up on, and you can, you can tell it's... It's, it ought to still be usable, and so if I don't have one that size, I'm not going to worry about it. And uh, it just makes, as long as it snaps in, and these things were the devil to get out. They, I had to hit them kind of hard, and I got the, I got the big bang that's uh, that, that's pretty scary. And uh, but uh, we'll 
we'll clean it all up, put it all back together again. So there you go. Uh, Two hundred dollars later, and well, uh, I think that's that's worth it. And I think if you've got one of these, you should you should change them out. And uh, so I, that's all that's all I got to say about that. Now, the rest of this is I'm going to try to just make this technical. Okay. All right. Bye bye. More more later. More to come. Okay, this is going to be for an upcoming video, but if you've got a BMW and you got that going for you, uh, it's either your tone rings or uh, your sensors. I'm going to go for sensors first to make sure they're not rust jacked and all that other stuff. So this is the thing you want to avoid. And I got the other thing you want to avoid too with the convertible top, but I'm trying to download that software. It's not, not as easy. This is an E64, which is a kind of a rare animal in the, uh, to get software for. I'm trying. It's just, it's just not a real high priority, but that's coming up. Okay, I just wanted to show this thing. Uh, that's how much the bearings were. And uh, I'll make sure uh, she's an eight-cylinder. She'll take eight. And uh, there you go. And uh, this was Allied Bearings and, uh, and Supply right here. That's where I had to, I just got back from. Okay, I don't know if I got time to mess with this anymore today. Uh, this is going to make a good video. We're going to put uh, this on off battery, heavy duty battery cut off on that uh, great big motor grader sitting over there. You can see some of it through the window, maybe. It's got a parasitic draw, so I got to remember to bring the FLIR down here. Uh, I've, I've used that answer several times in my life. Even on the Bonneville, I had to put a battery cut off because I couldn't, I didn't know the trunk light was on. And I, so anyway, I finally sorted that out. I think I've told that story one other time where I, uh, had the interior out of the car and I, uh, happened to see that the, the boot lamp was on and that's where the parasitic draw was. It was not the, uh, thing like that. Okay, well this certainly goes in the... Oh, okay, that's not addressed to me. Okay, directly to the burn pile. Okay, you might hear in the background that I have the uh, ultrasonic cleaner going. I indeed do not have circlets that big, but I can reuse that other one, I feel certain. So. I'm kind of surprised the bearing place didn't have some kind of circlet thing. They, Lord knows they, they got everything else in there. So there's been a hoot owl hooting outside my door for eight bearings in a row. <laughs> so the pulleys that I have off, and I'm not going to show each and every one of them, of course, but. I got this uh, ultrasonic and I got some air and blew out the, the channel. You can see a little red grease in there. Uh, I don't know if you can pick it up. The, there it is. And then I'm ready to press this in. Uh, one of these in. I don't know. That just doesn't look right, does it? Well, I've already got the one open. Yeah, I think that's going to go. Oh, let's see here. Hang on, everybody. Put you down for a minute. Oh, well, at least they got good plastic bags on these bearings. So what I've done here is there's not a front and back, I don't think. That feels better. And I have taken one of the old races, and I've taken it to the grinder, and uh, relieved that. So when I press it down in there, uh, it'll come out easier. So we're going to try that right there over here in said press. And we'll see how that goes. And uh, is that any hope of that working? Yeah! I can't believe that that came with the press. So uh, I think I'd be better off putting something flat across there than that. Flat than that. I don't think I need that socket there. Uh, flat. Flat steel. Uh, there's some right there. And that'll just keep it, keep it a little bit more level, I hope. So let's... There's the setup. Let's let's see how it goes. 
Well, the uh, music started when I was up here, so I can't do anything about that. So I'm at the uh, front left side. I'm going to try to show you what this is like here. So there we go. Uh, let me actually do something. Okay. Oh. I kind of remember, the, oh, it was a little chalky. Oh, there we go. Just had it a little half turn off. So you got that, and you got this spacer. And the, here's this. I was able to uh, put that uh, kind of wonked up uh, circlip in there. It, I was just able to get my tool in it. And you can also see that the, the one of the other advantages of putting a little grease in there, you can see it kind of pinches out of there, and that kind of tells you that you did it. So, uh... It would be my, I don't think it matters. I would guess that you would want the circlip out because of, uh, hmm, I don't think it makes any difference. Maybe you want the lip side. I guess the lip side out's okay. So let's see if I can get this on here with one hand. Uh, oh. Well, kind of. There you go. There you go. So, yeah, that feels pretty good. So then there's your spacer. Well, that, that fits like a charm, doesn't it? Well, not so much. Don't guess it's got to. And then you get that back on there. And that'll be, uh, that'll probably, oops. I think I could do that with my fingers and get it at least in the hole. Okay, and you can kind of centralize it. It ought to self-centralize, but like I'm saying, check every one of these you see, and I think I already did that one. Uh, you run into the age-old, that, that does not, that's just a guide. I'm not too concerned about that little pulley. And you know, even if that broke, you still got this big pulley down here. But you do want to uh, give that a little bit of a twist. Don't get, don't get over anxious. I don't think you need any Loctite or anything. So there, there's that. And uh, uh, boy, that makes you feel better. And I am going to, uh, going to run out of time. So we'll just, we'll just pick this up tomorrow, and I'll post what I got here, uh, and then uh, just so. Uh, I don't want to say his name, but uh, uh, by mistake, not that I want to say his name, but he's a nice guy. I mean, you know, whatever. So I've got to, uh, I've got to get the other two pulleys done. That's going to take some time. And uh, let's take this back there. Okay, we're going to post this thing just so everybody can kind of get a feel for what's going on. So let's have a thumbs up and chomp that like button, share. If and like I told the guy, if you got people that don't that don't want to buy. Spend three or four dollars more on a better bearing uh, with a better history or whatever. Show them the video before this one. And uh, this is why uh, you can't. That worked pretty good too. I was pretty happy with that turnout. Uh, forgot to mention it. Uh, so, anyway, show them this and tell them, uh, you know, death over a few dollars just, you know, just isn't worth it. Just get the best stuff you can get. I gotta take a shower and get go. Okay, bye bye, guys. I close the. Let's get up to the house quick. Can you hear it? A little bonus footage here. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I wanna see it from my desk. I've been waiting on this. Here they come. Oh, I got the windows. Shut down. Let's, let's open them up here. Because they're coming. They're coming. Don't laugh, it works. Let's see. I've been waiting on this day. There he is. You better close your house up. Uh, so, there he is. That might be... Derek, I can't remember his name, but this is just out. I'm sitting at my desk. 
Isn't that cool? Hey guys. He ain't looking at me. They get it up in that. There's a hopper on top. See it? Woo! I'm glad I didn't clean the windows the other day. <laughs> and it's blowing right at the house too. So there he is. And they'll bring a truck up here pretty soon. And uh, I think I'm in as far as I can get. And that's what that's what happens down on the farm. Oh. Still making bunch of dust. So well, I can see the road a little bit better coming up. Okay, thanks again. Alright, bye-bye.